So, this is my late night confessions, and uh, I just have to say that, uh, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, as I embark on this journey that no man is safe from, you know what I mean? I, I see to myself, like, uh, there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs. There's gonna be a lot of, uh, trials, tribulations, the prophet said trials, tribulations, who am I to figure that I won't, but I got confidence that I uh, I can handle it, you know what I'm saying and still stay focused and still do the things that I need to do, I, I had a challenge today and um, I had to choose and and I chose I chose the greater good and sometimes like for me, choosing the great good is like a hard thing to do because it's like, why should I ever care about my folks don't care about me? Or why should I, like, protect people who don't protect me? Or why should I even, like, do any of these things? And, and my answer is always, and my answer is always clinically, psychologically, spiritually the same. It's always the same. And it's like, I look at it like, what about God said, I'm tired of you, son. I'm tired of the cop. I'm tired of like sick and tired. I didn't give you 50,000, million thousand chances. And you still haven't like got it. And I, and I wonder if, how I would feel if that day came and I was like, Dad, you know, God gave up on me. You know what I mean? Because that's my truly, I'm not going to say my only friend, but uh, that's the only thing I depend on, like, wholeheartedly. I don't depend on anything else. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. My life has told me not to trust or depend on anything. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, and I pray that people in, in my future prove me wrong. I pray that family, friends, I pray, you know, new relationships, whoever I'm in a relationship with, however it happens, I pray that, that they prove me wrong. But right now, as I stand, I, I, I don't trust nobody. And I don't. I don't trust not a single person. I don't even trust myself. Only person I trust is God. So, you know, at the end of the day, like, that's what it is. And I'm understanding that, like, dude, you can't even trust yourself, man. Like, you be having good intentions and the shit just happen and just make you, or, uh, like, you be like, yo, man, today, that's, it's, I, I'm promise, I'm telling you. And I've been doing that. Consistency and it's, it's improved my life to the point where, like, right now I'm to the point where I'm like, mm, if it get greater than this, then I can't wait. You know what I mean? And instead of me like waiting for the ball to drop or something bad to happen, I'm like, oh, my life is fucking awesome, man. <laughs> Seriously, just like it is. I'm content. I'm cool. And I know a lot of people are gonna think that that has anything to do with anything, but but it doesn't. Like I remember being in California, and I was in my condo. My little brother was living with me, and I remember Breeze was living with me. Down there. And I remember sitting on my balcony. I had this robe on, and I, and I had a cigar, and it was like an Olympic-sized pool, and a soccer team, football team. Basketball team, all of them to join. It was like white girls down there in beach chairs, they had no bras on, motherfuckers jumping in the pool. Like everything was in this one complex, and you had everything you could think of right here. Liquor stores right up the street. My man had all the loud and tree and everything that, that you could think of. I was sold in. I was cool with the Thompsons. They was Crips. I was, I was it, it, like, I was cool, I was fucking one of these sisters, like, shit was crazy. And, uh, everything was cool. And I remember sitting there one day and like, 
like like depressed to the point when I wanted to kill myself. Like not happy at all. You know what I mean? Not happy at all. Just that the relationship, beautiful relationship. The, the girl Rachel, I'm talking about white girls. Like, oh my God, beautiful relationship. I had, look, me, my little brother, my white girl, Rachel. She was playing basketball. I was playing basketball. I was in a condo. Them both was, they both was living with me. I had, I had everything that I thought that I particularly like, wanted. And I was miserable. So a lot of people might say, like, dude, you, what you got to complain about? You up. I let no. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. And health is wealth. Not money. Health. With everything I got going on right now, I'm so fucking strong right now, I broke a crutch, like, by accident. And that's when I realized, like, dude, you are so strong, you're going to hurt somebody. And you, angry as you get, as much frustrated as you get, as much anger as you have, you're going to hurt somebody. So I was just like this, mm -hmm. I need to stop everything that's around me to get me to, like, stop being angry because, and unfortunately, it's like women, family, getting on, drinking, it's like, I gotta slow all that shit down, stop all of it eventually, and because if not the power that I got, the mind that I got, I've been hurting somebody for no reason at all, I thought they did something to me or something, and I'm like, 